Did you receive a subpoena some months ago? Yes. Relating to this case? Yes. Did you receive a telephone call from me? Yes, about my testimony. Did I keep you apprised of this? We might need you in court? Something like that. Did I also send you a copy of your deposition? Yes. Defendant's counsel. Your Honor, all of these questions and answers are unnecessarily leading. It is preliminary and background, I understand, but the court. I will allow it. It is, as you say, preliminary and background. Did I also send you a signed statement? Defendant's counsel. I object on the ground it is leading on an important part of the case and, as well, it is immaterial. The court. Objection overruled. Yes. Those are things you didn't have before I sent them to you, correct? Correct. Did you have a chance to look at those? Yes. Did you read the statement and briefly review the deposition? Yes, but not from cover to cover. Defendant's counsel. Objection as not responsive, if the court please. The court. The objection is overruled. Defendant's counsel. Move to strike. The court. Denied. Let's go back in time to 03 and 04. You were known by a different name at that time, were you not? Yes. What was your name? Jean Murphy. Were you employed? Yes. Where? In a restaurant known as Friday's. What was your job? General manager. Were you assigned to a specific restaurant? Yes. Which one? The Rockville Center Restaurant. When was that? I think it was, say, April of 93. Are you sure? That's just a guess. Defendant's counsel. Move to strike. The court. Strike it out. Were you the first general manager in the store? Yes. So that was a new restaurant? Yes. Defendant's counsel. Your Honor, how is this relevant? The court. Do you object? Defendant's counsel. Yes, Your Honor. The court. Sustained. You had worked for the company for quite a few years before then, right? Yes. Was it 2000 or thereabouts that you started with them? No, it was February of 1997. Did you start direct with them as a general manager? Defendant's counsel. Objection as to form, Your Honor. The court. The objection is overruled. Yes. You worked back in 1997? Yes. You were working a pretty heavy schedule with Fridays, were you not? I'm sorry. There came a time, it is a phrase the lawyers use, that you met with Walter Smith at that time? Yes. You were working six days a week? Not always. Occasionally? Yes. Sometimes 10 to 15 hours a day? Occasionally. Were you generally the one who opened the store? Yes. Were you also responsible for hiring different personnel? Yes. Were you responsible for hiring the kitchen help? Yes. And for the dining rooms there? Yes. As well as any outside independent people who you needed to assist in the running of it? The court. Don't lead, please. That's correct. There came a time when you were introduced to Mr. Walter Reed? I'm sorry. There came a time, it is a phrase the lawyers use, that you met with Mr. Walter Wood at some point? Yes. How did you learn of him? I don't recollect. Was he referred to you by somebody else? Possibly. What were you looking for in hiring Walter Wood to work in that restaurant? Oh, we were looking for a cleaning crew. To clean what? The cleaning of the kitchen as well as the dining room. You wanted someone reliable and dependable? Defendant's counsel. Objection. Leading, Your Honor. The court. The objection is sustained. When did the cleaning crew first start? We had someone else before. Defendant's counsel. Objection, Your Honor. It is unresponsive. The court. The objection is sustained. You had some concern over the quality of work of that prior cleaning group? 
I would assume so. Is any event, in any event, Mr. Wood gave you a proposal? Yes. That he would clean in the restaurant? Yes. That covered, did it not, both the front of the house and the back of the house? Yes. He had responsibility for doing the bathrooms? Yes. As well as the wood floors? Defendant's counsel, Your Honor, I think we, ran, we can go to another topic. He has exhausted this one. The court, no, I will allow him some latitude, counsel. Defendant's counsel, exception. Did he have responsibility in the back of the kitchen as well? Yes. And that included what? The equipment that was there. Which included what? The broilers, the ovens, the stoves, and the three cheese melters, things like that. Did he also have responsibility to mop and clean and sanitize the floors? 